Michael here at DrawingTeachers.com. We're going to do the name Buster in graffiti letters. Let's start by blocking out the letters. Get a B and a U. Let's see if we'll do that like that. And let's drop down and do an S like, like that. Squeeze a T in here and do an E. And an R. All right. Not much to look at yet, but let's start to uh, block this out here by filling in these strokes and figuring out neat ways for this to all connect. Just add a little bump right there. That'll be cool. And here we want this to be thick and then get down thin right there. And here, also thick, and then I'll connect up right there, and uh, let's kick out a little piece right here. Alright, there we got a B. Let's start this U with a little serif there, and I'm going to have some of that squeezed down in here. Kind of a tight space for this letter, so we'll just uh, make it fit there. All right, there's the U. Okay, now let's look at the S. Let's do a serif there, and then we're going to come back out of that. A little thickness right there. We'll let it be thin across the middle. Let it get thick right there again. And it's going to come back up around. Serif down there. Something like that. Let's even have it kick up higher like that. Right there. Let's just get more aggressive. Kick down low. And let's add a little arrow tip right there. Buster's going somewhere. And here we had a couple little pieces flying off of that. And let's see with the T. Let's put a serif down here and I'm gonna let this flare out down at the bottom and then kind of connect back up. And here let's bridge these two serifs. Let that come real close there. We won't make it quite touch. Alright, now we got an E. Thick right there, thin right there, and uh, a little bit of thickness on that end, but we'll make it even thicker here and let that sort of stub out right there. And for our R, let's repeat some of the things that we've done here earlier. Let's kick out a little piece right there like we did on the B. And have a little piece floating down here. And let's see now. We'll come out thick and then thin out as we get into the letter. And here we're going to kick back out. And then we're going to kick down like that. And loop back out like that. Something here to balance that off. A little attachment there. A little bit heavier on the B. Just messing around with the thickness on some of this. Beefing a couple of pieces up. Alright. And there we've got Buster. Let's take our black marker and uh, we'll start outlining this. I'll let that connect up in there. And we're just going to work with these little irregularities in our markering. Now we got to decide how this is all going to connect here. And uh, I'm going to let this sort of bridge onto that. I'll show you what I mean. Just sort of connect those two right there. 
And again, let those let those connect right there. Looking pretty cool. Let that dip way deep down in there. Let that dip way back up in there like that. Like those little guys right there. I'm gonna stick one right there and uh, stick one right here. All right, gonna bridge that over. There's our T. Let that dip way in there. pieces right there. A little piece right there. Alright, there we've got uh, kind of cool design worked out with Buster. Let's go ahead and color these pieces in here that we added. And uh, coloring it like that first and kind of going with the energy of it, that uh, allows for some, some really neat things to happen. Come in with some yellow up here. that look really nice and hot up top there. And I'm going to come in with some, some orangey red down here at the bottom. Coloring the whole area solid. I'm just letting letting this marker have some energy in here. Sort of like flames coming up. All right. Now let's do uh, let's do an outline on this whole thing, and um, do it with a with a burgundy color rather than the black. There we've got Buster in graffiti letters. Pretty cool design. A couple more little, uh, little touches here for some highlight shapes. And 
and we'll go ahead and sign that and call that done. So Buster, I hope you like that. I hope that's something that you could duplicate. Um, please check out all of our other lessons. We're uh, on our road to do 50 of these. So uh, have a great day.